Today, I'm going to read Melvin the Moose and Mr. Bluefish. Once upon a time, there was a moose named Melvin. He was big and tall with huge antlers, a powerful moose, and yet he had a soft brown muzzle and a big furry nose. Melvin would roam the forest every day, exploring for adventure and foraging for food. Each morning and evening, he would go meandering down to the rocky river for a long drink of sparkling clear water. Melvin was often lonely and would think about how much fun it would be to have a friend. One particular sunny morning, as the sun was coming through the tall pine trees and making the river water sparkle, Melvin noticed a fish darting around the rocks. A playful fish. Eagerly, the fish swam right up to Melvin's soft brown nose. He nudged Melvin's nose. Melvin cautiously studied him. Then the fish stuck his head out of the water and said, Hi, I'm Mr. Bluefish. What is your name? Melvin, surprised, snorted, then said, Hi, I'm Melvin the Moose. With that, they were instant friends. Every morning and evening when Melvin would come down to the river, he would chat with Mr. Bluefish about the day. Mr. Bluefish would talk about the other fish and tell what frogs were doing and lots of what was going on underwater. Melvin would tell Mr. Bluefish about the deer he had seen or the beehive he had discovered by mistake. Each thought, what fun to have a friend. One day, as Melvin was approaching the river for his usual drink of sparkling clear water, he noticed a fisherman with a fly rod in his hand. The fisherman was artfully flipping the line back and forth across the water. Suddenly, the line tightened and Melvin saw Mr. Bluefish jump from the water. What? Oh no! Mr. Bluefish was caught on the end of the line. Melvin can see that the pole bend as the fisherman tightened the line and began to reel Mr. Bluefish into shore. Melvin couldn't move quickly enough. He lowered his furry head and gave a very loud snort and charged the fisherman. The fisherman heard the noise, turned and saw Melvin coming full force at him. The fisherman was so surprised that he dropped his pole and ran away from the river. Melvin put his foot on the pole. Mr. Bluefish then spun the line around a sharp rock. The line broke, the hook came out, and Mr. Bluefish was free. He jumped high into the air, and then the higher spinning around, and then he happily swam up to Melvin, who was getting a drink. Mr. Bluefish nudged Melvin's nose several times. Then he popped his head out of the water and said, how can I ever thank you enough? Melvin said, Aw, shucks. That's what friends are for. The end.